Last chance to wager on the second. Phillies have been called to the gate now. They begin to move up. Final call for wagering on the second race. It's post time. Ten three-year-old trotting fillies on the gate, ready to contest the first elimination of the Elegant Image Stakes. They're off and trotting, and first one off the wings of the gate from the outside fires out Global Glamour. Global Glamour charging out of there. Sars is also leading out alertly. There's Arbor Hanover from the inside. Susan XYZ in the center of the racetrack up into fourth. From the outside, fifth, Lantern Kronos leaves four position. Hawaiian Photograph backs up into sixth. Then a first turn breaker, Global Glamour, one of last week's casual breeze winners, on a break in stride. Trevor Ritchie lost her into the opening turn and put up front here by Jean Pierre Dubois is Sars. And Sars hits the quarter in 29 seconds. With a rush from the outside, McDonnell overcomes a post-10 problem with Lantern Kronos, and she makes it no problemo. Lantern Kronos finds the front now. Sars backs up the second. Sitting at the rail from in third as they continue across the backstretch. That towards the inside is Arbor Hanover. Towards the inside from fourth, races along Smed's Hammer, Susan XYZ. Then backed up from in fifth is Hawaiian Photograph. Sixth in the backfield, races along World Premier for Condren, and they've hit the hit. Halfway point in 58 two fifths. Further back towards the inside, riding the rails is Ocean Miss Dynasty. That one from in seventh. Eighth to the outside as the field moves around the turn, Fox Valley Summer. Right there with them from ninth is Daylon Mistress. And far behind after the break and stride, just pulled up was Global Glamour. Three quarter station up next. Lantern Kronos and McDonnell in charge. The outside from in second trots up. Sars right there. Third is Arbor Hanover and perfectly spotted. Second over Hawaiian Photograph from fourth. Three quarter time, 127 and four. And McDonnell pops the earplugs on Lantern Kronos and she's still up front. A comfortable length advantage for her. Sars on the outside from in second, sweeping up off cover now. Here comes Hawaiian Photograph and they come to the finish. In the first elegant image, stakes elimination. Lantern Kronos still there, a length and a half to the good and it's Lantern Kronos, Lantern Kronos to win. Coming on for second was Hawaiian Photograph, tight for show. It looked like Sars held on for that show spot. Susan XYZ was right there with her. Mile time, 156, two-fifths. Ten Lantern Kronos is the winner in tonight's second race. Second number two, Hawaiian Photograph. Third, the five, Sars. And fourth, number four, Susan XYZ. Lantern Kronos, she is five for five to start her sophomore campaign after a one for six rookie season. She's been flawless this year. She's a three-year-old daughter of Viking Kronos from Bell Power by Pine Chip. Homebred owned by Falk Belag and AB of Malmo, Sweden. She hangs her harness bag in the stable of trainer Jim Tactor and was driven to victory tonight by Paul McDonnell. McDonnell with his 62nd win this year. Lantern Kronos overcomes post 10 to win tonight's first 
Elegant Image Stakes Elimination. Stay tuned, Winter Circle Reaction with Big Mac in a moment. goes on for Lantern Chrono. She's now 5-for-5 five five this season. Paul McDonnell has been the regular pilot. And uh, Paul, tonight, another one that looked like it went pretty much according to script? Well, you, you never know with the 10 hole. Uh, a lot of things can happen leaving out of the gate. And uh, she had to dodge a few bullets. There's a couple of horses uh, running in front of her. and and uh, But that's the kind of filly she is. She's able to overcome these little uh, things and uh, go on with her business. We've seen in the last couple of weeks that uh, you're... you're um, just kind of easing her to the front. You're not really uh, pushing her hard off the gate. Is that by design? Yeah, I mean, uh, she's a filly, and, and, and I suppose she could get stirred up a little bit if you, you wanted to ask for speed too early. So uh, it's kind of been by design just to keep her quiet as long as we can and, uh, you know, hopefully uh, have enough fire at the end of a mile to, to take it home. And she showed tremendous versatility so far uh, from what we've seen of her here. Is there any facet of her game that, that she has to work on, or is it a pretty complete package right now? No, I don't think she's got much to work on. Her manners are pretty good, and uh, that, that's going to take her a long way in, in the future. And uh, uh, it looks like she's got the speed to go with it now. And uh, a little more speed to offer if need be? Well, I hope so. I mean, the, the wind's blowing.